Hey, my friends of the internet, I have crappy windshield wipers. I'm coming to you on the road, being very, very careful, of course, but something happened to my modem at home, so I have no internet, I have no TV, there's no nothing at home. So I'm literally going around to different coffee shops, <laughs> getting my work done, getting my content made, and getting my videos created so that I can get them out to you. But um, so today's video is all about Facebook ads and the different types of ads. I deal a lot with middle-aged entrepreneurs who are desperately wanting to use Facebook and Facebook ads for marketing and they're just finding it challenging um, because a lot of them are boosting posts and they're finding they're finding that they're spending a lot of money on boosting posts and not seeing results so I'm going to walk you through as best I can a step-by-step -step, um, for the Facebook ads manager in a way that hopefully will make sense to you and that you will feel confident in your abilities in making a Facebook ad outside of actually boosting a post. So, so as I was saying you. earlier, um, I'm in a coffee shop today, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, my modem at home is broken, so I need to find internet somewhere. So I'm in a local Starbucks, and I want to talk to you today about Facebook ads. What a lot of my fellow gymnast distributors have been doing with their Facebook pages is simply boosting a post. Boosting a post. Boosting a post. Now, while that has come a very, very long way, I want to give you an alternative, and that is called the Facebook Ads Manager. You can see here it's facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager. If you do not yet have an account set up with the Facebook Ads Manager, it will be on your uh, your Facebook homepage, your news feed, and it should be right here in the favorite section. So if you see this Ads Manager, just simply go ahead and click on that. If you don't have an account set up with them already, then what you're going to want to do, it you'll see something different if you don't already have an account. But because I obviously have an account and I've been making ads for a very long time, mine's already set up. But um, under account settings, it'll be things like your name and your address. And it is password protected. The main purpose for this video today is to tell you about the different kinds of ads that are available to you and that I actually recommend as opposed to simply boosting a post from within your Facebook business page. Now, truthfully, boosted posts have come a long way um, in the last couple of years. They give you um, some options here, but I still find that it's a better bang for your buck to actually come into the ads manager and create a new ad. So you can see here, there's a large list of the different types of ads. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I only want you to focus on the first two, boosting your posts. And yes, it's called the same thing. However, I'm gonna sh share with you a few little differences in just a minute. So I want you to focus on boosting your posts and I want you to focus on promoting your page. All of these other ones are very useful types of ads as well, but for the purpose of what you are doing as a gymnast distributor, I want you to focus on these two. So boosting your posts, I'm just gonna give you an example of how to actually boost a post from within the Ads Manager. So choose your Facebook page, mine is Inspired Into Action, this drop-down menu here is simply your, your posts on your page that you have made. And you can see here as I scroll through them, they're exactly the same as what's here on my wall. 
so that's that's all that that is so just scroll through and choose something that you would like to spend some advertising dollars on promoting I would recommend that be not a before and after um, because that won't pass the ads but you know either a video or one of your market bolt link posts or something like that so just for the purposes of this video I'm going to choose let's choose this one just for fun I'm going to click continue and so now I am creating a page post engagement ad so the main goal of this type of ad is post engagement so based on that knowledge you want to choose your audience and your budget and down here this is what your ad is going to look like now this is obviously the picture that i created for that specific post that day and it was just a fun one it was talking about eyebrows <laughs> oh so silly but the main things to remember are audience and budget people ask me all the time how much does a facebook ad cost well it can cost whatever you like it to cost. I personally, at this stage of the game, I spend less than $5 a day every single time. The potential reach is something you want to really, really focus strongly on. One of my favorite social media mentors and, and gurus that I follow, her name is Kim Garst. She has always recommended that this potential reach number here remain around 20,000 and under. So based on the knowledge of how much you're going to spend and the knowledge of wanting this to be 20,000 or under, this is where you get creative with your audience. So you choose your location, your age, gender, etc. To get this number to be smaller, you simply keep putting in more and more interests. And that's actually a really good thing because the more interests you put in, the more targeted your audience becomes, the smaller this number is, and the less you generally have to spend. It's not always that way, but that's generally how it works. That's how that works for ads in general. You know, keeping this number 20,000 or under, keeping it very targeted with your audience, and just choosing your budget. After that, it's just a matter of choosing which type of ad you want to run. So page post engagement is what they're calling boost your posts. Promoting your page, it's the same thing. That's simply getting more likes. But you run through the same system, your audience and your budget. There are other types of ads here too, but like I said, I want to stick with the boost your posts and promote your page. Now, why this one, why this boost your posts is different than this boost your post, it's simply the fact that you can get far more targeted with your audience back in here. Um, and you can really, really, really drill down on different things. So that's why I generally um, recommend people use the Facebook ads manager if they are comfortable enough to do so guys I'm sitting here in Starbucks um, I hope that that little Facebook ads tutorial made a little bit of sense um, if you need further clarification or information about Facebook ads be sure to connect with me I'll leave my email address in the description below if you have found this video useful it would be super awesome if you would give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as I make new videos twice per week every Tuesday and Thursday even if it has to come from a coffee shop I do my best to get great information and valuable stuff out to you twice per week sometimes it's just fun and goofy but um, I'm here for you guys the, the the entrepreneurs that are really really needing and wanting to use social media marketing for your businesses and just maybe struggling a little bit but anyways that's what I had for you for today my friends of the internet so thank you so much for spending some time with me today and until my next video I want to wish for you a wonderful day bye for now it's rainy and it's gross and all my friends are in Florida. Wow.